Well, a defeat in the end in that final pre-season game of 2019. How do you assess the overall performance from the team? Uh, it was just about getting minutes under, especially the forwards belts. It's uh, we're running very, very slim on forwards. You know, we've got three or four of them out. It was a chance to also assess some of the uh, young breed from Will FC and our, mm. our own. You know, Trialis, for example, obviously Big Ryan was uh, committed to uh, his Trialis period and now he's uh, signed up. So he only just got us in the change room then and said, look, we didn't win anything, we didn't lose anything. They are what they are, you know. It's a chance for some of our to get a lot, lot more minutes in what they used to play in. Uh, a bit more of a ticker. Bodies are very sore. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's massive to get, you know, that physicality. We've got another four weeks. We didn't want them off. You know, we would like to have rolled in from our friendlies into the season straight away. But, you know, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get another one closer mm. to the start of the season. But, yeah, it's just to get minutes in, get the bodies at that level of intensity. If we can defend and, and kind of play in that aspect, what we've just been doing in Super League opposition in, in our own league, you know, I don't see any trouble for us. So. Yeah, how much can we benefit from the sort of speed that, that London will be playing at? Obviously, they brought a, a big squad here today. And, well, and it it, first, with it only being there, <laughs> with it being their only pre-season <laughs> game, it was always going to be a strong squad coming yeah, down. So we can take pro positives from that as yeah, well. Yeah, we was, uh, was pretty surprised, to be fair. We know the boom, I think it was 25 man squad you know and they started off with the fully fledged 13 you know we looked on the, on paper and was like you know number for number there was the first team squad so we know we had it tough uh, i mean we played them last year but last year we, they had a lot of long young kids in uh, and you, you can't really win to be fair because mm -hmm. the, the the first team boys are obviously they've got another three or four stone on top of all ours so the physicality is you know up there and then the role on the young kids were enthusiastic and fresh <laughs> But like you say, the, the positives out of that, it's you're forced to run at that level and that intensity. Uh, with no disrespect to League One or Championship, etc. It's when you're playing that, it's more of a dog, it's more of a slug fight. You, you get brought down to the the speed, very very less intense. Mm. Uh, so you kind of you go through your course, you go through your gears there. Whereas this, it, you know, you, you're taking inch and they've got you on the back foot, as you could see today. Uh, so it forces you to play at your optimum, you know, you've got to go fast or they'll break you down so easy. Now obviously looking at the next few weeks and a little bit of a gap as you mentioned there before the first league game with a, a couple of bumps and bruises around the squad, how beneficial can it be? Although you'd want to be playing, you can use these next few weeks to make sure yeah. everyone's right. Yeah, I mean, from a coach's perspective, it's just it was tough, you know, you don't have to be the most skillful, the most fastest, you know, the most agile player without Thingy, you've got to have a bit of nudges about you and a, and a mm. good tick in terms of just just be willing. You know, we're not going to get toasted up when you're five yards off your own line, you know, and you've got full time players and they're there with the baseball bats. If Cecilia's <laughs> going to go, yeah, it gives that ball, those going to go, you know, die away. <laughs> so, from a coach's perspective, that, that's very good to see. And also, as a player, I mean, you know, want to be you want your best squad around you for enabling us to get them victories. And when, you, when you're up against a tough opposition like that and then the players shy away, you know, you, you know who's got your back and who you can rely on in them situations. Yeah, we've got a tough <laughs> army camp coming up <laughs> this weekend, or well, next weekend, and then it's kind of going to a bit more play. We haven't had much ball in off season. We haven't had much like chance to develop our skills and our and our moves. You know, I said at half time we've been a bit one out, a bit one out rugby. And I thought the forced us to be one out to be fair to them, but. You know, hopefully within these next three, three and a half weeks, we'll be able to get a bit more ball in our hand and, and develop that kind of fluent passing and the skill side of it.